Welcome back. We are going to discuss planets. My very educated mother just served us noodles. There are eight planets in our solar system. To remember this easily, we can use my very educated mother just served us noodles. M stands for Mercury. From very we get Venus. Educated we get Earth. Mother stands for Mars. Just is Jupiter, served is Saturn, us is Uranus and noodles is Neptune. Planets move around the sun in a fixed path. It is an elongated path which are called orbits. Do you know just a couple of years ago there were nine planets but International Astronomical Union discarded Pluto as a planet which is now called a dwarf planet which we will discuss in our next video. Those who study the celestial bodies and their movements are called astronomers. Now let's discuss about the planets. So planets are opaque bodies through which we cannot see. There are eight planets as you know and Jupiter is the biggest planet. Mercury is the smallest one. We can classify these eight planets into two groups. The first group is called the inner planets. And the second one is the outer planets. The inner planets are also called the terrestrial planets or the rocky planets. These are Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. These planets are nearest to the sun compared to the other planets. And then there is a asteroid belt, what you can see in the picture, which you simply understand there is a cloud of asteroids, millions of asteroids are there. And then there are uh, outer planets, which is beyond this belt. Outer planets consist of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Outer planets are also called the Jovian or the gaseous planets. Since the inner planets are similar to that of the Earth, which is terrestrial, so that's why we call it terrestrial planets. The same way, the outer planets are very similar to the heap of gases. That's why we also call them the gas giants. Now, just to revise, uh, we should know that inner planets are near to the sun and they are made up of very heavy metallic minerals. They move faster and they have shorter period of revolution. Period of revolution is nothing but the time taken by a planet to revolve around the sun in its orbit. For example, Earth takes 364 days and 6 hours to revolve around the sun, whereas Mercury takes only 88 days to revolve around the sun. These are yet shorter period. If you take the example of Neptune, it takes 164 years to revolve around the sun in its orbit. Inner planets have molten coal and they are very heavy metals inside in molten state. Inner planets have very thin outer uh, atmosphere as well. Whereas when we compare to the outer planets, they are very far from the sun. They are made up of hot gases, mainly hydrogen and helium. They move very slowly as the example was given of uh, Neptune, which takes 164 years to revolve around the sun. And also they have rings around them. And at last, if you talk about the natural satellites like moon, so inner pla planets have fewer number of uh, natural satellites whereas the outer planets have a large number of natural satellites. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for something new and interesting. Bye.